Internal Revenue Service IRS Tax News. IRS grants die diesel fuel penalty relief in Louisiana due to Hurricane Ida. IR 2021-176, September 1st, 2021, Washington. The Internal Revenue Service, in response to shortages of dyed diesel fuel caused by Hurricane Ida, will not impose a penalty when dyed diesel fuel is sold for use or used on the highway for a number of parishes in the state of Louisiana. The Louisiana parishes are, and I will completely mispronounce some of these, I apologize, Louisianders here, but uh, we have Encession, Assumption, East Baton Rouge, uh, East Feliciana, Iberia, Abarville, Jefferson, uh, Laferche, Livingston, Orleans, Plequiminos, Piente, Cuepe, St. Bernard, St. Charles, St. Helena, St. James, St. John the Baptist, St. Martin, St. Mary, St. Tammany, Tangipihoa, Terabine, Washington, West Baton Rouge, Baton Rouge, and West Feliciana. Okay, so that was horribly done, I'm, I'm sure. But we have a link to this in the description, so you could check out those on your own if you didn't recognize one that you think might be uh, applicable to you there. So in any case, this relief is effective as of August 29, 2021, and will remain in effect through September 15, 2021. This penalty relief is available to any person that sells or uses dyed fuel for highway use. In the case of the operator of the vehicle in which the dyed fuel is used, the relief is available only if the operator or the person selling the fuel pays the tax of 24.4 cents per gallon that is normally applied to diesel fuel for highway use. The IRS will not impose penalties for failure to make semi-monthly deposits of this tax. IRS Publication 510 Excise Taxes, there's a link to that here, has information on the proper method for reporting and paying the tax. Ordinarily, the dyed diesel fuel is not taxed because it is sold for uses exempt from excise tax, such as the farmers for farming purposes, for home heating, and use to local governments for buses. Also, with waiver does not apply to the internal code penalty for using ad, uh, adulterated fuels that do not comply with applicable EPA regulations. Consequently, diesel fuel with sulfur content higher than 15 parts per million uh, may not be used in many in highway vehicles. The IRS is closely monitoring the situation and will provide additional relief as needed.